is algebra 2. This is unit 2, which is solving absolute value equations and inequalities. 2a is just solving absolute values uh, equations. So we're going to solve for each variable. Number 1, absolute value of x is equal to 3. There are two solutions for this. You can put x equals 3 in, so 3 in for x to get 3. Or you can replace x with negative 3. This leads us into every absolute value equation has two solutions. There's a couple of extenuating circumstances, but for the most part, there are always two solutions. So, the very first thing you need to do is isolate the absolute value. absolute value. That just means if there's any multiplication or addition or subtraction or division on the outside of the absolute value, outside of it, you move it first. Well, this is already isolated. Second, we want to break it up into two equations. So we're going to break it up into two equations here. First equation, write it down exactly how you see it, without absolute values. Second equation, write that, what's underneath the absolute value exactly the same as you see it, but we're going to multiply the right side by negative 1. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Now we have to solve both of these. So solve both equations. Simple, divide by 3, so you multiply, opposite, multiply by 3. You say n equals 6, multiply over here by 3, and another solution is n equals negative 6. So the last step is to solve. So solve both equations. Number 3. So here's where we have to isolate the absolute value first. So just divide it by 8. We need to get the absolute value isolated all by itself. So the divide by 8 needs to go, it's to be moved. So it's opposite of divide is multiply, so multiply by 8, both sides. This moves the 8 to the right side of the equation. And now the absolute value is isolated. It's all by itself on one side of the equal side. Split the absolute value up into two equations. First one, write it down exactly how you see it. 7p plus 4, that's all underneath the absolute value, and it's equal to 24. Second equation, you know, keep what's underneath the absolute value the same, but you're going to multiply the right side by negative 1. Solve both of these equations. Bring you back to uh, your middle school years, solving two step equations. 20 over 7, subtract 4. P is equal to negative 4. So two solutions. Subtract 5 times the absolute value of 5 n minus 5. It's the opposite order of operations. So we have to subtract 2 first. So we're moving, we're isolating the absolute value. Divide by negative 5. Absolute value of 5m minus 5 equals 15. Okay. Right now you should be saying uh, we split it up into two equations. Right? Let's get the absolute value exactly the same as you see it. 
second equation multiply the right side so what's not underneath the absolute value or within the absolute value. Uh, usually it's the right side multiplied by negative 1. So now we just solve both equations and you have your answer. Okay, that's problem. 
know I'm going over on time, a little bit over 10 minutes. Apologize. Rarely do I do this. Negative 63 divided by 9, divided by positives. We do not switch inequality. Absolute value of r minus 2 is less than negative 7. Can the absolute value of a number be less than a negative number? So the absolute value, there's no way it can be less than a negative number, so this is a no solution. If it was greater than a negative number, it would be infinite solutions. In this case, it's a no solution. Last thing I need from you is 2B, which is writing equations from graphs. So this one here, your closed circles, so those are equal to, and how we're going to write this is you put an X in the middle, less than or equal to, negative 10, less than or equal to 8. So just between negative 10 and 8 is the same. Number 2. This is an OR problem, so we have X is an open circle, so it's no, no equal to, it's less than, less than 0, OR, and we'll say that's at 1, X greater than 1, and that's, that's your answer. I come to class with any questions, and we'll practice all of this in class. Thank you.